Good morning. Welcome, everybody. Come back, coming back to the Daily Top 7 at 7. It is February the 12th, 2017. Uh, if you may have noticed, uh, I missed yesterday. I was getting a sleep study done to figure out why I'm such a lazy fat ass. Uh, within a few moments of being uh, asleep, they came in and put the machine on me and said that uh, the transformation of watching me struggle to breathe and then... Uh, you know, watching me sleep with the machine was like night and day. So anyway, that's kind of scary. Need to get more exercise. So uh, let's just jump right into the news. North Korea says new nuclear capable missile test successful. North Korea said on Monday it had successfully test fired a new type of medium to long range ballistic missile the previous day, claiming further advancement in a weapons program it is pursuing in violation of a United Nations resolution or in violation of their resolutions. Multiple resolutions, even. Dollar gains after Trump Abe meet Asian shares firm. The dollar rose against the yen on Monday, uh, on relief that the U.S. President Donald Trump set aside tough campaign rhetoric over security and jobs in a smooth meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, with no mention of the currency policy. So, like, you know, let's just get to know each other first. You're the only person that has it just, like, blown up in my face. Uh, Beyonce and David Bowie win early Grammys. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, the anime Beyblade and David Bowie won early Grammys. David Bowie won two posthumous Grammys on Sunday ahead of a televised ceremony where the anime Beyblade is expected to make its first public appearance uh, and announce that there is going to be two new concurrent Beyblade series. Exactly. Uh, marchers across Mexico vent anger over Trump and their own president. Thousands of protesters in more than a dozen Mexican cities took to the streets on Sunday to express their fierce opposition to U.S. President Donald Trump, portraying the new leader as a menace to both America and Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, my cat. La La Land wins big at Britain's BAFTA Awards to continue hot streak. Musical La La Land won big at Britain's main film awards on Sunday as it scooped the best prize, the prize for best film. While Emma Stone and Damien Chazelle uh, picked up awards for the best actress and best director, respectively. Death of a business, bi death of a businessman. How the Philippines' Drugs War Was Slowed When Philippines' resident Rodrigo Duer uh, Duterte summoned his security chiefs to an urgent meeting one Sunday night uh, last month, his mind was already made up. Hmm. Toshiba prepares to unveil nuclear hole other perils threaten. Toshiba Corp. will on Tuesday detail a write-down of close to $6 billion, uh, after bruising cost overruns at the U.S. nuclear arm, turning investor attention to the Japanese group's efforts to mix that and other balance sheet headaches. I don't even know what that means. Israel says will not allow former Peru president Toledo to enter. Israel said on Sunday it would not allow former Peruvian President Alejandro Toledo, who is wanted in connection with a corruption probe before his affairs were settled in Peru. It would not allow in. Seven-time Grammy winner Al Jarreau dies at 76. Jazz and R&B singer Al Jarreau, a seven-time Grammy winner whose hits included We're in This Love Together and Moonlighting, died on on Sunday in Los Angeles at age 76, just days after announcing he was retiring from touring because of poor health. We'll miss you out. And uh, finally, it looks like our last story brings us back to France. France's Fion faces further legal process in fake work probe. Uh, now they're back at it. France's Financial prosecutor is likely to further legal steps this week in the investigation of into allegations of fake work by presidential candidate Francois Fillon's wife, a newspaper reported on Sunday. 
Okay. Well, you guys, uh, you know what happens when uh, we miss a day. We come back and we do uh, two shows in one day. So this is your morning uh, getting at you a little bit later than expected, but uh, there will be probably another episode or two episodes tomorrow. So uh, have a good day, guys. I will see you tomorrow on the Daily Top 7 and 7.